Hey guys, it's Derek Mardinian with iTricks Reviews, and right now we're going to take a look at a fun little techno card trick called Scantastic from Mentalism Unlimited. We're going to open up the box here, see what you get, give you a little demonstration of the effect, and I'll give you my thoughts on the overall product. Let's go take a look. Alrighty, here we've got Scantastic in the box here. We're going to go ahead and open it up to see what we get inside. The first thing you're going to notice are the instructions here. I'll give you my thoughts on these in a moment here, but first I want to show you the Scantastic device. This thing is really small, fits right in the palm of your hand, uh, really lightweight, it almost disappears in your pocket, you're not going to notice that you're carrying it around. On the top it's got a little hole there so you can use it as a keychain if you so desire. Uh, I, for the most part this is going to last you a while, it's not super solid construction on it but um, I definitely think it's going to last you know, a couple of years of performance if you take good care of it. On the side here you'll notice a USB charger for powering up the device which is very important because this is an electronic device. Overall I uh, can't really complain too much on the quality. The price may be a little bit high for this. I'm not entirely sure what these things cost. The effect retails for $87.50 um, so you can sort of judge out of here once you see the effect and now you can see the materials and judge whether you think the price is fair or not. But looking a little deeper here at the bottom of the box, take out this little stuff here, we get the USB 2.0 charger for powering up the device. There's a little rechargeable battery in here by the way I should mention so that you don't have to keep replacing the batteries. You can just uh, plug it into your laptop or your computer whatever and charge up the device at home. The other two things you get in here are two different keychain attachments. Uh, this one will work better if you want to attach it onto your phone. If you've got a little place to loop this through, you've got that option. And the other one is a more traditional keychain type uh, attachment. Like I said, the, again, you just kind of stick right on there at the top. These are totally optional. You don't need to carry these around, but it's just a little something extra that you can opt into using or not. I want to give a quick bare bones look at the effect here. This is with no presentation, no audience members, just the real core of the trick without a presentation so that you can see where you want to take this yourself on a creative level. You start off by having a card selected and ask a participant to place their finger down on the index of the card to pick up a sort of impression of the card within their DNA, within their body, within their mind, whatever you want to do, however you want to take it presentationally. Then you pick up the Scantastic device, you turn it on and it's going to ask you to place your finger down on the screen, which you do so. After a moment it's going to pick up on the fingerprint there. I apologize for the blurriness of the screen, but that haze there is supposed to be a fingerprint it looks a lot more clear in person, but as you can see over time the fingerprint sort of develops into the selected card, which in this case was the Seven of Hearts. Final thoughts on Scantastic. It's a fun trick, really easy to do. Everything you need comes with the kit here. All the tech is already preloaded onto this little device here, so it is good to go. You don't need to do anything. You don't need to really have any technological know-how, except how to plug the USB thing into here and into your computer to charge it. That's all you really need to know as far as that goes. Really elementary card move is required to do this, but other than that, you are good to go. The only two things that kind of had me a little on edge with this effect were the instructions. One, I kind of wish there was a little bit more here. It's really basic rundown of the effect. You get everything you need to know, but I would have liked just a little bit more. The other thing is the price on this, it's $87.50. It's going to be high for a fair amount of you guys, but I think if you really like this effect, it may be worth it for you. I personally really like the sort of tech trick aspect of this, something that I personally enjoy incorporating into my magic, and maybe it's something you do too.